with the Flyers and the Wildcats about to get things started. Providence going right to left in the opening period, and the opening draw comes to Ryan Barrier on the left side. He'll deal it forward to Crookshank, but it's broken up in Jason O'Neill, who scored 20 seconds into last night's contest, got tripped up as he approached the Wildcat line. Anthony Wise near side of the goal line. Throws it off the end boards to Barrier. Barrier will skate out, diagonal feed too far for Vela, and the ricochet will go out for an icing call just 23 seconds in to tonight's battle. So the faceoff will come back on the Wildcat side. To the left of Mike Robinson, who played such a stellar game last night. Conway and Bella will take the faceoff. Referees for tonight's game, Chris Federico and John Gravelis. The linesman, Brendan Kelleher and Mark Sullivan. We're about 30 seconds plus in. Friars skating from our right to our left against the Wildcats. Mike Murphy, Pete Webster at the Whittemore Center. Aaron Boss at our flagship home, WGIR in Manchester. Max Gildon from the near corner of the defensive zone skates out far side. Long head man feed, bidding for Nazarian. But getting a stick in there to break it up was Michael Callahan to the near board. Come the Friars through center ice. Thompson chips it to the near corner. That's where McKinnon was on it. He backhands it up the ball, but it's turned over. Now a trip. It looked like a trip. Wildcats want to call. They will get it. As it looks like it was, it was a Blackburn who was tripped coming out of the zone. And the Wildcats, a minute 14 in, will go on a unit till power play. Yeah, that was good. That was obvious. The trailing referee, Mr. John Gravelisi, was right there to make the call. To uh, sit down is Greg Prince, the third line left wing. Sophomore, he's going to take the first penalty of the uh, of the evening. It was actually uh, Aaron Nazarian. Or Aaron Nazarian, uh, that was actually tripped up, hauled down to the ice. So it is a Unitil power play, Unitil energy for life. Friars win the face off in their own zone, and Bjorkwist will skate through center. Leaves it in the corner, gives chase after it. Grasso slows it down behind the net, and then it's going to be Gildon who skates out. Max Gildon passed his own blue line across Providence's blue line, but turns it over to Callahan, who simply forehands it down the ice right in on Mike Robinson. The Friars are all set up in the neutral zone, allowing the Wildcats to come up ice. Gildon diagonally to Nazarian, gets a stick on it, deflects to the far corner of the Providence zone. Behind the net, cats to it. It's sent off the back of the net by Blackburn, and it ended up in front of the cage, but on the carom, it goes all the way through to the center zone. He'll not to Nazarian left wing board. Nazarian wheels and deals between two Friars, and then he tried to send to the corner, but it goes out of play. So the first 52 seconds of the unit to the power play not working the way the Wildcats would like. Now, the Wildcats had uh, some struggles last night in the power play, and you've got you got some of your uh, your key offensive guys in the power play that are out injured, so you're trying to mix and match things, and and uh, it's just not flowing just yet. Wildcats struggled last night to get that possession clean in the zone. They win the face off here. Barrier a slap shot from the right point that got blocked in front. Van Riemsdyk gives chase in the far corner. Wise pitches in at the half boards, works it to Vela. Vela trying to skate away from a back check from Mirages. Barrier, right point, handles at the blue line, gives to Van Riemsdyk, right half board. Back to Barrier, wise, left point. Down deeper, it's Sheffield who looked the backhand in front, but it goes all the way through to Hockey, who's able to glove it down to the ice for a whistle. Yeah, I said it last night, great college hockey name, Hayden Hockey, senior out of Parker, Colorado. He got a chance to go home. Uh, to his uh, home state, home area, last weekend when uh, this uh, Providence team was skating against the Denver Pioneers for a couple of games. Providence didn't have a whole lot of success out there. Coming out with a loss and a tie. He saw from the left circle the attack zone for the Wildcats. Friars win this one behind their own goal line. Kavanaugh watched out. He tried to play it off glass, but it ends up coming about 10 rows up into the stands here. 17-23 to play in the first period. No score. Still 36 seconds remaining on the unit till power play for the Wildcats. I certainly hope the fan who was struck with that puck is okay. Yeah, it's going to require some uh, some attention here, but uh, another deep face-off here in this power play with about 30 seconds left. 
on the faceoff. The puck was still on that faceoff dot, and the Providence player fell on top of it, so we get another immediate whistle. It was Suko Moran who went down, and now John Gravelisi speaks with him. Tell him to step aside and get off the ice. So faceoff to hockey's left. No score, 17-19 to play first period. Vela wins the faceoff to the near board. Sheffaloo is there, tries a backhand to the point, and it's fired behind the net. Vela will get to it, left goal line extended, curls up, then backhands it behind the cage. Sheffaloo can't get there, so it's Vincent Dayarna for the Friars. Conway tried to clear, but Sheffaloo does a nice job in the right boards to keep in. It ends up in the far boards, and this is where the Friars were able to dump it out. Only 10 seconds remaining on the penalty against Prince. The Wildcats will control at center. Right through the middle is Gildon. Gets to the left wing as he enters the zone. Plays it off the glass. Takes a weird hop right to the right of hockey. Fregona on the four check skates through it. And this allows Providence to come out in transition. Dugan crosses the red line left side. Plays it behind the Wildcat net. On it is Vela, the Wildcat captain. Chips to the near boards for McAdams. He'll backhand just across the line. Young tried to sneak back in, but that's an offside. With 16-26 remaining in a scoreless first. So the Wildcats now 0 for 6 in the main advantage this weekend, 0 for 1 tonight. Providence went 0 for 4 last night, so we haven't seen a power play goal. You can see a shorthand goal for the Wildcats last night, though, in exciting fashion. A face-off right outside the Wildcat zone. Puck in the center zone, and it slides to the Providence end. Spencer Young will get there far circle. He'll skate it out. Turns it over at the red line. Clean steal by Nazarian. He's got Grasso to his right. Skates in left side. But as he tried to put a bid on net, Bryson got in the way. He made the block. Bryson will help lead Providence's breakout. Kavanaugh left wing. Kavanaugh gains the line. His return pass for Tate goes just out of his reach and ends up in the crease where Robinson will glove it. Oh, that certainly was a uh, very good looking breakout there uh, for the Wildcats with Steele out at center ice. And, uh, well, he just never got the shot off. Kind of reminded me of last night. Providence had two breakaways in a shorthanded situation, and neither time did they get a shot on net. And, uh, well, that one looked very promising for UNH, but no shot on net on that one. To Conway Miller face off on Robinson's right-hand side. Robinson wins it. O'Brien, top of the left circle, moves to the slot. Whirls, fires a forehander, and Robinson makes the save. Time for tonight's uniform report, brought to you by Collins Sports Center in Rochester, official screen printer and embroiderer of the UNH Wildcats. Uh, the Wildcats with their home whites, with blue pants, blue helmets, blue UNH across the chest. Providence with their road blacks, all black, black jersey, black pants, black helmet. Uniform report brought to you by Collins Sports Center in Rochester, official screen printer and embroiderer of the Wildcats. Learn more at collinsports.net. Ryan skating left wing, carries it deep, then brings it back to the point where Buns throws a bouncer wide of the net on the near side. Poked out to the near boards. Friars trying to control on the cycle. O'Brien keeps it in deep. Duhame, Duhame trying to weave around a wise check. O'Brien, left wing wall against Esposito. Works at bottom of the circle, just behind the net, still stick handles all the way to the right wing side. He's from Duhame at the half wall. The backhand to deeper behind the net, Conway. Conway plays at the right circle. Forehander by Duhame. And Reemstein got a stick in there, and it's out of play with 15-10 left in a scoreless first period. And starting combination of D was just out there in that shift. Anthony Wise and Ryan Barrier. And uh, just getting uh, the timing just a little bit off with uh, the defenseman and the forwards to uh, win the pucks around the kick plate. Providence with some good possession time, good pressure on the Wildcat end. Face off in the Wildcat zone, but this time it's McKinnon who digs it out of the scrum in that far circle. Gets that to the stick of Gildon. Gildon with to bank it out, but it goes out of play. Five minutes in, no score. UNH and Providence. This is Wildcat Hockey from Learfield.
Flyers and the Wildcats, no score. 14.40 to go, first period, and Dugan tried to skate to the Wildcat line, but he's disrupted by Angus Crookshank. Crookshank quickly the other way. Right wing wall, gets it up to Hickey, back to Crookshank. Cross ice pass, Gildani tees up a slapper. It got redirected wide into the near corner. And out comes Bjorkwist and at the end of his shift. He'll clear the red line, send it down the rest of the way. Yeah, you might have thought uh, Drew Hickey might have been able to pinch in there, but uh, only playing in his second game, decided to take the uh, smart route, track back to center ice, and uh, Providence was going for a line change anyways. Collision out in front of the Wildcat bench, and the puck sent to the near corner of the UNH zone. Bella gives chase on the back check, gets there right at the same time as Prince. Now a sharp angle shot. Thompson found some room at the left half wall, threw one in, that was stopped. Rebound comes back to the near left wall. Digging after it is McAdams. He'll use the end board to get it to the far right where Fragona chips at it along the boards. McAdams gets knocked down as he and Prince meet. The puck goes over the boards onto the Wildcat bench. That's the third line for Providence. Greg Prince, we're already got a penalty tonight. Vimal Sukumaran, young man from Montreal, Quebec, very good skater. And Tace Thompson playing the right wing as a freshman out of Connecticut. He is the younger brother of Tage Thompson, plays for the University of Connecticut. Big boy, good, uh, good, uh, good width in his shoulders. Kohei Sato playing defense for the first time as a Wildcat because of the depleted core. Ahead it comes to Blackburn, who just crosses the line right wing and throws one in that forces a stick save from hockey. We did see Richie Boyd sit down right in front of us with the other players who are not dressed today. Kind of gingerly made his way, but all smiles as he was able to get back with his teammates. So that's very encouraging to see after he had to leave last night's game at Providence. Bouncing puck goes off the far boards. Grasso chases after it in the corner. Grasso pinned against the boards by Buns. That's at the end wall. Blackburn far side. He'll get stapled up by Duhame. No score. Seven minutes in here at the wit. Last night a 1-1 tie was the final. Cats with a shorthanded goal in that one. Blackburn and Van Riemsdyk connecting as Van Riemsdyk had the goal off the Blackburn assist. Wise at his own blue line, goes D to D over to McKinnon. Nazari in a one touch at the blue line as it comes in to the Friar zone. No possession though as it goes right back to center and the Wildcats handle. Near side McKinnon snaps the diagonal fast pass from Miller. Miller can't penetrate into the Providence end. Van Riemsdyk hastily gets back to his own blue line. McKinnon to Barrier, far side. He banks it forward for Miller. Miller with some speed, comes across left wing, but they'll say offside with 12-24 remaining in this 0-0 first period. Yeah, Chris Miller tried just uh, one of those little curling flip passes to himself to try to get it by the defenseman's stick. Just in all that one motion, there was a uh, skate that was too much into the zone, and it's called for offsides. Some good action, some good up and down pace to this game. Bigger sheet here, as we as we mentioned here at the Whittemore Center, than down at the Schneider Arena, where everything happens so fast. In the center zone, Gildon across it to Sato. Sato skates in left wing, and there is a whistle before Sato could trigger a shot. And is there another offside? Yeah, yeah. Marcus Vela was in a little too soon as Coe uh, had to take an angle across ice a little bit to uh, get in into the zone. Now you still see the Wildcats with that intense effort that uh, really they started every every player in the lineup starting really going at this incredible pace in the second period, continued in the third and into overtime, and they're uh, they're skating very very hard here again tonight. Wildcats in the offensive zone. Gildon chips it forward for Sacco in the corner. He's sealed off by McDermott. And the puck is steered aside to the near boards and out of the Providence zone thanks to Callahan. He's all the way down for an icing against the Friars into a face-off to our right. Wentworth Douglas Hospital with campuses in Dover, Portsmouth, and Lee is the Seacoast Leading Medical Center and the official hospital of UNH Athletics. Learn more at wdhospital.com. Wentworth Douglas, healthcare with heart. Uh, on the face-off of the Providence defensive zone, that's gonna be better tonight too in the face-offs. PC won 34 out of 57 last night, well over 50%. Friars win this face off as well, and the near boards, Callahan throws it through. It does touch a Providence stick on its way to the Wildcat end of the rink, so no icing. Hits center, bounces right over the Wildcat bench. Watch out, Coach Giuliano and Brandon. 11.38 left here, scoreless first period, UNH and Providence. This is Wildcat hockey from Learfield.
11-27 remaining, first period, no score. Wildcats and Friars, Mike Murphy and Pete Webster with Aaron Boss back at our flagship WGIR in Manchester. Off a faceoff, McKinnon tries a wrister from the point, but it's blocked and out of the zone. That's back on it. Right at center ice, it's Miller. He'll elevate it into the near corner. Esposito chases on the forward check, but the Friars get there first. It's Prince, skate out left side. Ross ice pass, able to center it to Super Moran. Now skating it from the right side, a wrist shot, Robinson, a save on a sharp bid that came in from Tice Thompson. And the rebound is held by Robinson, so we'll get a face off after some extracurricular activity. Van Riemsdyk in the mix with Suka Moran. Yeah, There's a little rebound left there by Mike Robinson. Of course, you're gonna have a couple of Friars go at it. Tice Thompson's gonna get in there. Suka Moran's gonna get in there. Wildcats doing a good job of protecting their net binder in the crease, says Pasito. Protecting well for the Wildcats. Nothing comes out of it though. But a face off to Robinson's left. Cats win this draw. Blackburn got the better of it, skating in front of his own net. Gildon will backhand it to center ice. Stolen by Dugan. Dugan will bank it for Bjorkwist, entering the Wildcats on right wing. Bjorkwist behind the net, still handles. The left circle whirls, has it in his forehand, and he shoots one that goes all the way to the far boards. Now it comes to the point. Collision there as Blackburn tries to take it away from Dugan. Here's one thrown in front, but blocking the way was McKinnon, and he leads it ahead to Blackburn. Now Grasso will chip it to the near corner, give chase. Mirages in front of him for the Friars. He'll use the near boards of Bjorkwist. Gets a piece of it, but then it goes on through, and this will be an icing against the Friars. 10-25 to go in the first no score. Two or three times, the Friars tried to get that headman pass going up the left wing, and it's too hot to handle. It goes for an icing call. How about free popcorn? Any service credit union debit, credit, or ATM cardholder can receive free popcorn from concessions at all UNH Wildcat hockey games here at the Whittemore Center all season. Service credit union thanks you for your membership. Face off to hockey's left. Puck still in the circle off the draw, and then it's played off the glass by Mirages to center ice. Wise, far side D Sato. Blackburn gets a piece of it. Bouncing puck goes to the Left corner, Sato chasing the four check. Barajas got tripped up. Friars come out two on two. Dugan to Duhame. Duhame in left wing, veers towards the boards with Wise tracking him. Duhame reverses direction at the half wall, backhand to the circle. Shot by Conway was a high riser. Goes off the glass. Dayarne has it right wing boards now. Takes down a Wildcat in the corner, but the puck at center ice to Grasso. Grasso's got Blackburn to his left, gains the zone, right wing for a trailer, it's not there. Callahan with the check, takes Grasso off the puck. No score, 9.35 left first period. Callahan near blue line, actually it's O'Brien back to Dayarnay. Lead pass Conway, and then for Gona, a stick check and a body check on Tate. Tate recovers back at his own line. And then will elevate it to the Wildcat end. Another whistle here with 9.23 remaining in the first period. Has her play out at center ice. Finally ends up with a stick of Brian Tate. He's got a lot of speed, the senior out of Santa Clarita, California. But, uh, he was just forced to uh, dump it in, but he didn't make, uh, make his way to the center ice red line. Goes for an icing. Opportunity, that means, in the attack zone for UNH with Sheffaloo taking the face off against Conway to the left of Hayden Hockey. Puck into the corner. Adams and Sheffaloo are there on the Wildcats side. Jason O'Neill, actually was Bryson for the Friars. They are Ardan out to center ice. Sheffaloo a stick check. And then Tate will dump it in as he takes a hit for his efforts from McAdams at center. Behind the UNH net, McKinnon, near side defensive circle. Long diagonal. McAdams can't control, got a piece though, so no icing as Young controls it. Now it's taken by McAdams, left circle, gets it over to uh, Sheffalu, and his forehander goes wide on the near side, didn't have a lot on it. Big check gets the crowd excited as the Friars get to center ice. Kavanaugh plays off the far boards over to McDermott. McDermott skates behind the goal line. He has Thompson coming in from the left wing. Thompson though skated right into the referee, so lost the puck for an instant. Now it's a battle on the near side boards. Bounces into the circle, and then out of the zone. We'll get a hand pass with 8.26 left in a scoreless first period. A lot of whistles here, complete opposite of what we were experiencing last night. Well, I'll 
also to uh, Providence experiencing once again here in the early going of this this game is uh, when they get the puck either in their end or around center ice there's two Wildcats sometimes three pounding the puck there's a lot of energy spent to dispossess Providence of the puck before they get an attack going. Thompson nice pass to the right side and a shot elevated by Davis Bunds who was in the right circle and a real good look but he missed the net. Wildcats take advantage of that come out of the zone with Sheffaloo. Thompson checks him away and now Buns across the red line. Banks one off the end wall to Robinson's left. Wise trying to clear on the far boards. Kept in by Buns. Wrist shot blocked in front by a barrier. Ends up in the left circle. O'Neal. He gets spilled to the ice. Barrier joining the play for the Wildcats. The play it off glass high in the air. And it bounces to the Friar end. Rogers whirls quickly to find Dugan. Dugan skates in onside left wing. Looking for some help with Dayarnay, who actually is Bjorkwist, a fan of a shot bid. Sacco will get there for the Wildcats. Bank it off the end wall for Gildon. On the far side, Crookshank trying to leave it for Vela, but too fine a path. So it's stolen away by the Friars again. Lead feed for Bjorkwist from Dugan. Gildon cuts him off, steals the puck away in the process. 7.20 and counting left in the scoreless first period at the Whittemore Center. Great crowd on hand in particular, having the student body back. On the near side, going down was Dugan, lost the puck. Bella, though, couldn't keep in, so it's an offside with 7.06 to play in period number one. Wildcats and Friar scoreless. Stay with us. Wildcats We're back after these words. This is Wildcat Hockey from Learfield. for a live stat update brought to you by UNH Analytics and Data Science. Well, you have seven shots on the board, four for the Friars and three for the Wildcats here tonight. That is a live stat update brought to you by UNH Analytics and Data Science. In just 11 months, you can earn a Master's of Science degree in Analytics and Data Science at UNH. Their highly innovative program uses real-world data from actual companies. Choose from specializations in business, healthcare, public policy, sports analytics, and more. Apply now and prepare yourself for one of the world's most in-demand careers. Find out more at unh.edu slash analytics. I want to thank 4-H for being our partners for tonight's 4-H night at the Whittemore Center. Mike Murphy, Pete Webster will have an interview later on with a member of 4-H during our intermission show. No score with 7.06 remaining in the first. Yeah, it's been a good, uh, good up and down action. Uh, Wildcats doing some really nice things defensively, not allowing too many, too many opportunities for the Friars, and so not too much riding time. There's been a couple of, couple of shifts where the Wildcats did get pinned back in, and nothing came about it. Just like the way the Wildcats are hounding the puck in all three zones here, and the Wildcats defense shorthanded as it is, making the sure safe play. Off a face-off, Bryson to Conway. Conway left side for Duhane. Gildon the takeaway at his own near circle. Pass at center ice, Blackburn. Wheels it right side, Grasso. But the Wildcats are offside yet again. Yeah, that was just uh, Blackburn was twisted up a little bit. And caught the puck on his heel. And that uh, he, just, he just had to take an extra touch before getting it out wide to Patrick Grasso. That little play coming straight up the middle by Gildon up to Blackburn, and he squares it out to Grasso. That's like a soccer play. You know, the old square out pass. Don't see it a whole lot in hockey. It's off at center ice. Puck loose. Nazarian chips it to the near boards, into the corner. Young behind his own end line. Over to Tate, far side. Tate play it around Sato with Gildon hustling to the far blue line. Had it, then lost it. Friars will carry in left side with Tate. Sato defends him, forces Tate into the corner. Four players engage after it. It's Blackburn will dig it out for the Cats behind the net. Left side pass too far. The Friars control. At the half wall, Tate killed on. Swipes it away. Back to Kavanaugh on the right wing. Young is there. Young back to Kavanaugh. One-timer. Stick save Robinson. Goes off the glass to his left. 
Blackburn ahead on the left wing for Nazarian. Nazarian chips up the boards and gives chase. Young will cut him off with six minutes left in the first, no score. Miller, takeaway left, hash marks. Centering it for Esposito, but the pass is behind him. O'Neill out to center. O'Neill works it off the far right boards, goes after it, gets there before Wise at the hash marks. Off the wing, he'll play it in deep. Barrier, far boards. Looking for Van Riemsdyk, he'll chop at it, and out of the zone it goes. Bouncing to the Providence end where Mirages will track it down, far circle, being hounded by Esposito. Looking for the headman feed, but Duhame has Wise tying him up. It banks over to the netminder, Robinson. Barrier played at the center, no possession there, so back it comes to our right with the Friars control. Mirages breaks out from behind his own net. Long feed, Thompson just got a piece, so there's no icing. Still Don for the Wildcats, backhand to the left boards. O'Neill pinching and got there, but he blows a tire along the end wall, then takes get down Gildon in the process. Puck comes out, five minutes left, first period. Friars just send it in. Robinson leaves it for Gildon. Uh, has it played off the skate of Prince right in front of Robinson. Catch recover, and the ice the puck with 4.48 left. Uh, this is one of those rare opportunities. Gildon and Wise, the two experienced defensemen in the lineup, get out there at the same time. They'll have to stay out there with the icing call. Max has had a few whoops uh, going this weekend. Get the puck out in front of uh, his own net, losing control of it. Some coaches, that gives them a lot of gray hairs. But Mike Souza has a lot of belief in Max Gildon. He's got an awful lot of talent, a lot of great skating moves, stick handling moves. He's got to put it all together. After Sheffaloo won a faceoff, Gildon cleared it in midair on this side. Bjorkquist for Providence, left board, plays it in. Vela will keep it in deeper to McKinnon. McKinnon winds it around far side for Gona. Can't get it around Young, so it's in the Wildcat end. Lemos, right corner. Duels with McKinnon behind the net. It's played in front of the Wildcat cage, out to the left wing. Bryson keeps at the point. Bjorkquist. Centering feed, high slot, Young moves to the right wing, forehand bid, save, Robinson gliding to his left. And we'll get a face off with 4-10 remaining in the scoreless first period. Make sure you're with us one week from tonight as state bragging rights are on the line. It's UNH against Dartmouth, Cats Care Night presented by Wentworth Douglas. Fans asked to bring an unwrapped toy. Service Credit Union will give a t-shirt to anyone who donates a toy. While supplies last, you can get your tickets right now at UNHWildcats.com. Tonight we got another barn burner going here. Uh, they made a little adjustments from the shot stat I gave you earlier. It's actually officially four to one. Faceoff is in the Wildcat end, but UNH winning the defensive end faceoff. Barrier will use the glass on the near side to get it to center ice. Friars recuperate as Duhame works around Blackburn. Takes a hit, would have been offside, so the Friars peel back, and this allows Nazarian the stick handle. Leave it for Barrier. Barrier up the middle of the ice. Left wing wise, tries a diagonal dump in, but Callahan got a stick in there. He'll send it down to the near corner and ice the puck for the Friars with 337 left. We'll have a face off on the Providence end of the ice. Yeah, that's where the Wildcats need a clean win so they can get a straight on shot to Providence net. Just officially have one shot on net. They've got a number of them wide, some blocked by defense. Cat's got to get some pressure on Hayden Hockey and get some bodies in the crease to start banging away. Hockey has a look at this face off to his right. Vela against Conway. On the left wing board. Wildcats unable to keep in, but they control at center. Gildon from the red line. Winds it around right to left behind the net. Crookshank keeps in left half board. Chips it in deeper for Vela. Vela fights for it with Conway trailing him. Crossing, looking for Gildon left point, but it comes out of the zone. Gildon back between the circles of his own end. Headman feed, sets up Crookshank left wing. His forehand shot was blocked by Callahan. Goes in front of the net, but Tate was there for the Friars. They give to Callahan a return to Tate left wing. Tate with some speed comes in. Forehand shot blocked down by Sato in the left wing circle. Kept in by Mirages. Throws it through traffic, but Robinson there to make a nice stop, and he hangs up. Uh, we had the perfect angle for that, and I don't know how that puck didn't hit a body going in on Mike Robinson. It just opened up just enough for that three-inch wide puck to get through there. 
with a good play to block the initial shot by Koei Sato. I think Koei's had a fantastic period. His speed, he's gotten all over the place. Made some good hits. Made some good plays with his stick. Being asked to play the blue line for the first time in his Wildcat career. UNH missing Richard Boyd, Benton Mass, and Matt Dawson. Sato starting last or playing last night as a forward, but doing a heck of a job making the transition to a defensive-minded player. It's been a defensive-style game, no score. 235 left in the first. Mirages at the red line in front of his own bench, tried to swat it the Wildcat way, but Patrick Grasso does the opposite, sends it near corner to our right. Blackburn gets to it, finds Grasso, back to Blackburn. He was parallel to the goal line, tried to put one on net, but it goes wide. Grasso will chase it down in the neutral zone and back to Wise and the Wildcat near side deep. Yeah, tremendous hustle by Patrick Grasso to get back there as a defenseman pinched up a little bit. At center ice, two players in front of the Wildcat bench, one each way, so slows down the Cats' progress. Gildon tries to find Sheffaloo, but he was right at the Providence line, would have been an offside. Cats back out, and Dugan tries to skate out the talented freshman for Coach Nate Lehman. Near side, Bjorkwist. Wildcat line with play it behind the net into the right wing corner. Friars handle there. Here's Bryson, left side, takes the pass. His shot through traffic gets blocked over to the right side boards Young. Young at the half wall, loses it as it's taken away by Wise, only to be returned over. Right side, Providence skating in and getting thrown against the boards hard. My goodness, is that Dugan who went down? He's slow to get up, too. What a hit by Anthony Wise. Clean play, and Dugan will come towards the bench. Wise, at the end of his own shift, left side will chip it into the Providence end with 1.15 left in the period. Jack Dugan out of Rochester, New York, 6'2", 195, but Wise muscled him into the boards off to the left of Mike Robinson. Conway at center. Duhame gains the line left wing. He'll center it. The pass back from O'Neill looking for Duhame was behind him, so it's Callahan who loses sight of it at the point. Has to move it to center ice to Dayarnay. Dayarnay waits for everyone to get on side, then plays one wide off the far post. Rebound off the end boards to McKinnon. He goes behind the net to Varier. Final 40 seconds of this scoreless first period. Sacco, Rafella, right back to Joe Sacco. He veers left, comes into the zone, back to Varier. He's got to look at it from the left circle. Shot saved. Rebound tipped wide by Sacco in the corner. Crookshank there. Sacco as well for the Wildcats. Dayarnay for the Friars. End up along the boards with 20 seconds to play in the first. All this battle along the far wall. Wildcats get to it. Barrier, left point, moves to the center point. He gets tripped up, and it's Kavanaugh who got too much on it. He thought he had a break the other way, but instead, Robinson's able to play it in the left circle. He'll lead the Wildcats the other way. Crookshank with Vela left side, and all Crookshank will do is play it off the boards. It took a weird, wicked hop, went off the end boards and hit the far post. And Hayden Hockey's expression said it all, but it does go off and time expires, and we do stay scoreless after wow. all. <laughs> what an ending of that period. Wow, Wildcats and Friars all over the place. Uh, Wildcats trying to make some things happen offensively. Just not clicking totally, but some exciting action. And again, <laughs> no scoring in the period, and I'm exhausted from watching it. Well, we're going to take a timeout, get you ready for the first intermission report. No score after one. This is Wildcat Hockey from Learfield.
Mike Murphy, P. Webster back at the Whittemore Center. Nine seconds into the second period, no score. Wildcats moving right to left here in the second period. Friars ice the puck on the first play, so a faceoff in the PC zone. Comes back to Wise, right point. Tried to throw one in on a wrist, hit Crookshank. Bounces to the far corner. Bella is on it. Back out to Wise at the point. They'll work it behind the net. Sacco is there, but Bryson is as well for the Friars. And it's Young who will skate out left side. The New Hampshire needed. Able to deal it over left side. Bjorkwist. He'll cross it to Dugan. Right circle right at the bottom. Dugan plays it in front. It's on the doorstep. But Bjorkwist could not really steady himself and ends up backhanding it wide. Puck clear to center. Sacco across the red line. Will throw it deep. And the Friars will break out. Here's a headman feed that finds Dugan at the Wildcat line right wing. Broken up by Gildon. McKinnon gets to it. He'll saucer one ahead for Blackburn. Blackburn along the half boards, left wing. Turned over, Duhane leaves for Conway. Conway, diagonal pa pass, comes forward, but not much penetration there as it's broken up at the Wildcat line. Near side, Nazarian will bank it to center. Duhane the takeaway, goes to Callahan. Callahan, the lead pass, and here's an opportunity moving in left side. Duhane broken up. O'Brien gives chase on Nazarian. Duhane gets to it, passes between his legs, but Intercepted by Grasso on the far boards, and Patrick turns and sends it out of the zone. At center ice, O'Brien's got some room, moves in. He shoots, save made by Robinson, right shoulder. The follow-up is played behind the net. Here's a wraparound backhand by Prince, once, twice, no, denied each time by Robinson. Bottom of the right circle, Buns throws one in, another save by Mike Robinson. Far side, O'Brien, left wing board. Across to Buns, right point. Wrist shot knocked down in front of Robinson. And Gildon is on it as the player got knocked down. Is up slowly for the Friars. That's Jason O'Neill. Wildcats end up icing the puck. Two minutes in to a scoreless second period. Now Providence now feeling, uh, feeling the bangs and bruises here of this game. Looks like the Wildcats had in the last couple. That's the best sustained action that we've had here by either team. And it goes to Providence. Number of good chances. Mike Robinson coming up big. The puck floating, laying around the crease area. Tense moments for the Wildcats. Somebody's trying to sneak on the ice here, Marcus Vela here, but uh, the Wildcats already have five skaters. And so Vela will climb back over the boards to the bench for now. Face off to the left of Robinson. Won by the Wildcats. Gilled on near corner. Looks high in the air. Laid out to center ice. Bryson. Settles it down, gives to Young, near side D for the Friars. Kavanaugh trying to play it through, but Sato breaks it up at the blue line. Sato forced back into his own zone because of McDermott's forward check. McDermott delivers a hit on Van Riemsdyk. Van Riemsdyk to Wise. Wise having a difficult time with Kavanaugh, who plays it across to the right wing boards. Young chips it in deep. Wise takes it away behind the net. Van Riemsdyk can't get around to Young. Check the first time. Then Kavanaugh keeps in at the right point. It does come out to center ice where it's batted around before Bryson gets to it for the Friars, and he will elevate one from the left red line diagonally to the near corner. From behind the goal line, Sato to Wise, and the puck out of the zone to Mirages for Providence far deep. Thompson at center. Knocked away by McAdams, and McAdams gains the zone left wing. He crashes the net. He goes right on through the net as his shot was initially stopped by Hockey, but unable to stop his own forward momentum. Eric McAdams skates right on through, crashes into goaltender, the net goes flying. Now we just hope everyone's okay, 2.58 into the second period. Yeah, I just hope Eric hit the pads of the goalie. Uh, now he hit, uh, his, looked like his left knee hit the post first. That's going to hurt. That's going to leave a mark. That's not what the Wildcats need is uh, another, another play to get all banged up. They're right on the edge of playing all the players they have available. Eric McAdams, though, used his wheels to get an angle in on the goal. And you know he wasn't going to stop. He's a young man. He wants to put up some numbers. He wants to get his team going. He doesn't have any points at all this year. But hell bent for leather in on the net. As he sits on the bench, there is no attention being paid to him, no extra attention. No athletic trainer has been summoned, so that's a good sign, at least initially. Off the faceoff puck in the left corner of the offensive zone. Ragona trying to work against Mirages, the defenseman for PC. Mirages will backhand it up the wall for Thompson. Thompson backhands it through center ice, forcing Barrier to get back before Lemos. And we'll get a whistle and we'll have our first penalty in a while. 
comes at the 319 mark of the second period. The only other infraction was called against Greg Prince of Providence, 113 into the game. This one, unfortunately, goes against UNH. Justin Fergona, he was looking at the ref. What did I do? He got called for holding. That was down in the Providence end. And, uh, took a puck coming all the way back to the UNH end for the whistle to blow. So, well, the Wildcats will have their first shorthanded situation of the night. Killed four from last night. Puck hits Bryson right around the face on the right side to keep in for Gorkwitz. He gets into the slot, he turns and fires, but it gets redirected to the near corner. Bryson keeps in right point. At the half boards, Dugan. Dugan into the circle. Backhands it back to Bryson on the wing. Opposite wing, Thompson. Thompson turns and shoots. That one gets redirected off the back glass. Dugan, right wing boards. Skating it. Blackburn. Cross ice pass for Thompson, but he got a piece of it and sent it well wide. Left circle. Conway tried to cross it, but intercepted by Blackburn. And he'll just swipe it down the ice. Blackburn's been so pivotal in the Wildcats' recent success on the penalty kill. Yeah, very smart getting sticks in the passing lane. So Providence does a good job of finding the open man, but if there's a stick or a leg in the way, Cats have been doing the job with that. Rice and skates all the way through center, all the way to the Wildcat zone, had the puck in the right corner, out to Thompson left wing corner. Grasso the steal in the far circle, and he sent it forward beyond Vela's reach, but all the way down the ice. Still no score, we're halfway through the penalty against Fragona. 15.30 to go, second period. Dreyer is moving up ice with the man advantage. On the left side, Young can't get around to Gildon check. McKinnon winds and rips one all the way on the near side glass. Duhame was waiting though, right point to hold in. Over to O'Brien, and now a wrist shot from Dayarnay. Save made, rebound hit the near post as Duhame was there. O'Brien back to Duhame at the right point. Duhame gives to Mirages. Mirages left point, settles there, cross ice to Duhame right wing. Center point, Mirages. Shot blocked by Vela, who sprawled out. McKinnon looking to use the near boards to clear, but pinched in was Duhame to keep. Mirages, center point. Wheels, deals, gives left side. Spamming on a shot was Young. Now he has to curl away from Vela. He curled right into a Gildon stick check. Vela trying to clear desperately. Took two chances and finally hit O'Brien's stick and hopped over the glass. With 14.40 remaining in the second period, the Wildcats successfully have killed off that Providence power play. Yeah, and it wasn't too pretty, but it was effective, though, because there's no Providence goal up on the board. And the closest one by Providence hitting the outside of the posts to the left of Mike Robinson. That off the stick of Brandon Duhame. His face off will be stick side on Robinson to his right. Flyers win it, but it goes beyond Callahan's reach, forcing him to center. Cross for Dayarnay, it hops over his stick with Van Riemsdyk harassing. In the neutral zone, Callahan gets to it. The lead pass finds Kavanaugh onside left wing. He blew a tire as he tried to go around Wise. Puck ends up in front of the Wildcat net, but it's Wise who comes out. A four on three potentially, but Dayarnay able to pinch Wise at the blue line and break it up. So McDermott for the Friars, leaves back for Dayarnay. His pass, Wise reaching to get a stick on it before it could reach Kavanaugh. Up behind the goal line to Robinson's left. With McDermott and Gildon battling. Van Riemsdyk joins the action near boards of Lemos. Buck squirts behind the Wildcat net. Wise is there, far side, and he'll use the kick plate to work it to Gildon near side D. His stretch pass for Van Riemsdyk finds Brendan at the Providence line, but offside. 13.47 to go in the second, no score. This is Wildcat hockey from Learfield. The New Hampshire School Administrators Association is proud to support the UNH Wildcats. Visit their website, edjobsnh.com, to find the largest web-based vacancy service for all education and employment opportunities in New Hampshire. Again, visit edjobsnh.com. 
13-35 remaining second period. Mike Murphy, Pete Webster at the Whittemore Center. Aaron Boss producing at WGIR, our radio flagship home in Manchester. Glad you're with us here or on YouTube watching tonight's game between these two Hockey East rivals. Wildcats turn it over in their own zone to Bryson. The backhand one wide on the glove side off the end boards. It's sent out to center. The spin move at center ice. Frees up the Friars. There's a wrist shot from the left side by Jay O'Brien forcing a Robinson save. It was O'Brien who made the move initially to get in the Wildcat zone. Blackburn threads the needle to Nazarian. Can't get around a buns check at center. So O'Brien back on it. Near side defensive circle for the Friars. Over to Conway, far left. Conway is at the end of a shift, so he'll play it deep and then head to the bench for a change. Sato looking for the headman feed from Nazarian. Went past him and right on net, so Hockey made a stick stop. Blackburn outside the Providence zone. Can't get it around. Suka Moran. Suka Moran will split between two Wildcats as he sends the puck to the near boards, chases after it. Sato there first, but turned over behind the net. Wrap around by Bjorkwist. Couldn't get in front as Sato and Robinson combined to slow it down. Friars control though in the slot. Bjorkwist broken up by Nazarian. It's Dugan, left board. Down low, quick tic-tac-toe pass, shot, save, Robinson. There's a follow-up from DRNA in the right circle, blocked by Nazarian. Comes to Dugan, now Callahan from the high slot. His shot was blocked by Sacco, and it's out to center ice. Bodies everywhere for the Wildcats, but the Friars relentless here on the board check. Dugan plays it in deep. Prince chases after Sacco and McKinnon for the Wildcats, along with Wise. Wise is the one who peels out, then he lost it as he lost his edge. O'Neal had it, taken right back by Wise. Nice job, Anthony Wise, skating out of harm's way. Oh, he just turned it over, though. Here comes O'Neal, moving in shot, kick save, Robinson. And then it's sent out on the near side by the Wildcats. Vela gives chase in the Providence zone, but no possession time there as the Friars fire it right back. But that's an icing with 11.34 to go in a scoreless second period. Now let's uh, just say, uh, the, the defenseman Anthony Weiss is trying to do a little too much, trying to get involved and get the offense going. And I, th I think he was a little bit tired there at the uh, that last little stick handle he tried to make. And right on the stick of the Providence player. And tried to just slide it home and catch Mike Robinson opening up his pads a little bit. But Mike was smart, knew what was coming. And kept his pads on the ice and turned it aside. That's going to start generating some offense. Only shot in the period came from Wildcats' own blue line. Face off to the right of hockey has not been tested much. Friars making sure he won't be tested this time. They clear it to center ice again. Thompson just across the Wildcat line. Lost it to Barrier. Barrier, good lead pass, finds Blackburn. Blackburn into the zone right up the middle. Tried to give a pass to the right. That was broken up, and here's Tate. It's a three on two developing for the Friars. Tate left side, finds McDermott a blast. Wide on the stick side, just missed that far post. Cats get it back to center right. Young in his own blue line. Gives it over to Mirages, and now moving in is Tate. Tate gets tripped up on his way in. He goes crashing into the backboards, and this will be a penalty against the Wildcats as it looked like an opening for Ryan Tate, the fourth line right wing. Blackburn will be called for this one, I believe. Yeah, and he's having some words with the referee, Federico. I don't blame Liam because he got he got he, he got the stick of uh, Tate. Tate just dramatically went down the ice. Uh, pretty much a dive, I think. That, that, that's a oh, that's a tough call to take here. Providence has really started to to flex the possession time and pressure towards the Wildcat net. Cat struggling to generate offense, and now UNH on the shorthand. Bryson off the faceoff to Thompson, back to Bryson mid-slot. Dugan, top of the right circle. Chris, a cross-ice pass for Thompson looking in the back door, but it missed the connection. And Bryson could not keep on side, so a whistle. Just 10 seconds into the power play. 10.44 left in the second period, still no score. Fortune there for the Wildcats. It came out of the zone. You can see it all the way up here from my perch. 10 seconds killed off the Liam Blackburn penalty. Seems like between last night and tonight, Tice Thompson's been available on the backside <laughs> yes. and he hasn't connected yet. Well, he had a couple of whiffs last night, and uh, that's uh, Nate Lehman was a little upset at some of the whiffs that 
Providence came up with a lot of heel shots and a lot of mishandling of the puck just like this one by Dugan. Couldn't be happy with that. Almost gave Sacco an opportunity in the shorthand. Quick recovery and here is Thompson gaining the line left wing. Hits the brakes at the hash mark now carries it deeper. Back it comes for a wrist shot in the left circle. And hits right in the bread basket of Robinson for a save and a face off with Scott Conway who found himself available on the left wing. Yeah and he was uh, well they had uh, Yorkwist Right in his, uh, his little parking lot right in front of the crease where he scores all his goals, leading the team with seven goals for Providence. Junior out of Espoo, Finland. There's a lot of players in college hockey in that part of the world. 10-20 left, second period, no score, still a minute 25 remaining on the Friar power play. They win the draw. Here's a one-timer, Mirages, a blast on the right wing, and Robinson makes a save on the left side, Young against the boards head for O'Brien. He lost it to Gildon. Gildon forced to play it deeper in his own zone. Barrier, Barrier using the near boards, and then Van Riemsdyk does the rest in center ice to force Hockey to play it behind his net. More than midway through the second, Spencer Young skates to the neutral zone. He'll wrap it around behind the UNH net to the near side boards, and it keeps going all the way through and ends up back to the Friar zone. Rogers has to go far side to Young. Back onto the stick of Mirages. Goes through center. Gains the line left wing. Around Gildon in the corner. O'Brien up the wall to Young at the point. He's got a lot of space there. Young on his forehand. Instead goes to Duhame right wing. Back to Young for a slap shot. That sails well wide off the glass. O'Brien left half wall. He goes down as Gildon tied him up. 20 seconds remaining on the Providence power play. Young right wing. Moves in closer. Shot. Blocked off the stick of Barrier. Over to Duhame, right wing boards. Duhame slices towards the goal. Duhame goes right in, trying short side. But that got deflected and sails out of play. Oh, that was a good break for the Cats. Uh, watch Max Gildon skate over to the bench. He is dog tired right now. He was looking to anyway he could get off the ice. Put in a very, very long penalty kill shift. Duhame is the one there earlier, rang it off the outside of the post to the left of Mike Robinson. Still six seconds remaining on the penalty against Blackburn who was called for tripping at 9.05. It's 9.01 left in the second. Face off to Robinson's left. Won by the Cats, but Wise lost it to Kavanaugh. On the goal line, Suka Moran. Unit's back at full strength as Blackburn quickly joins the play. And Blackburn a near steal. Instead, it comes to Callahan for a blast on the right side. And that's a glove save for Robinson. Nazarian tried to skate out, but Suka Moran cuts him off. Forces it on edge behind the Wildcat goal. Thompson takes Wise off the puck. Nazarian stands up, Kavanaugh. Puck loose just about 10 feet to Robinson's right. Finally dug out by Aaron Nazarian. He's out to center. Crosses the red line and sends in the rest of the way. Yeah, an awful lot of stick work being done by Providence as the Wildcats try to get the puck going up ice from behind their own goal line. 8.20 remaining. UNH has been back on its heels, but they've stood the test here defensively. Last night was a 1-1 tie at Schneider Arena. Today, nothing, nothing. 8.05 to play in the middle period. Gildon, good stick work through center. Gains the zone left wing, bottom of the circle. His centering feed was just behind Blackburn, and it's a takeaway, and here comes transition. Three on two, developing O'Neill, a quick trigger shot. Bjorkwist looked for a rebound. Sato threw him right through the cage almost. <laughs> really, he threw Bjorkwist into that far post, and the net came off its pegs. Uh, hello, Casper. Meet a piece of iron. <laughs> That's what Coey says. Oh, boy. Oh, the Wildcats lucky uh, Coey didn't pick up a penalty on that. I don't know. I just got one of these feelings that the next penalty is going to be called on Providence as the Wildcats have gotten away with a couple since the Liam Blackburn tripping call. Face off in the UNA zone to the right of Robinson. Another deep face off for Providence. We'll have Conway take this one against Blackburn. Buck still in that circle. Conway to it. Backhand feed to Haim in the high slot. Here's Young. He's got room on the right side. Shot. Glove save Robinson. 7.43 left here in the second period. No score. UNH and Providence. This is Wildcat Hockey from Learfield.
Wentworth Health Partners, Seacoast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine in Summersworth and Lee, New Hampshire is one of the largest providers of orthopedic care on the Seacoast and in the state of New Hampshire. Wentworth Health Partners, Seacoast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, SOS Med, home to the official UNH Wildcat orthopedists and team physicians. You can receive the same care from the region's most respected leaders in sports injury treatment. Visit SOSMed.org to learn more. Well, the 7.43 remaining in the second period. Let's have a live stat update brought to you by UNH Analytics and Data Science. Now this one's called Ouch. Shots in the second period, Providence 16, UNH 1, and that one was from the Wildcats' own blue line. And that is a live stat update brought to you by UNH Analytics and Data Science. Apply now and prepare yourself for one of the world's most in-demand careers. Find out more at unh.edu slash analytics. And it has felt that way, Pete. I mean, there's been a lot of work in the UNH zone, and while the Wildcats are doing a tremendous job, they're going to have to find opportunities to counter and break the scoreless game. Well, last night, Providence had 70 shots. Not all of those got through. Just about 33 of them got through. But uh, Wildcats blocked an awful lot, and they're doing the same again here tonight. Off the faceoff, O'Brien free in the slot, but he gives it left side. Here's a shot that gets off the stick and sails into the netting in front of the cat pack student section. Now blocked again, this time by the Wildcats' Joe Sacco. Boy, pucks just, you know, clap of sticks, and the puck just goes to the, the third man high for Providence, and he's got all time, all kinds of time to do things with it. It's just the way things are going here in the second period. Cats hanging tough, though. They, they know it's a long game, and they're in it. And sometimes the, the opposite effect occurs. You know, Providence may be getting all kinds of opportunities, but frustration could result if yeah. they don't break through. And that would work in the Wildcats' favor. O'Brien curls all the way from left to right, still possesses, plays it in front for Conway. Cleared by Crookshank, but only to the wing. Moving over to O'Brien, he dangles right wing. Back it comes to Young, his shot save made by Robinson as he clings to it under his right arm, pinned it to his body. Now Duhame got chopped down in the crease. He's holding his neck or chin. He took some, oh, he took a stick by the Wildcats. Ooh, that, uh, Brian Barrier, boy, he got away with one there. That should have been a high sticking call. <laughs> and the Providence bench wants to have a little chat with John Gravelis over why nothing was called on that. I don't blame him. Gravelis is ne never one to worry about talking back. <laughs> as fine a referee as there is off the faceoff to the left of Robinson. McKinnon looking to clear off the near glass. Unsuccessful. Suka Moran pokes it out looking for Bjorkquist at the top of the right circle. Dugan near boards, but it's Van Riemsdyk for the Wildcats. Finds Miller. Miller spins. Cross ice pass to McKinnon. McKinnon in on side, backhand shot, right circle save, rebound, another save by Hockey. And he won't let there be a third as he pins it down with his glove. Oh, there we go, two bits by the Wildcats. Hopefully they'll give uh, two shots on net there. But a nice rush up the ice. McKinnon seeing uh, the opening, Cats had possession. And good cross ice pass. Here's the mobile freshman defenseman from Plymouth, Michigan. Taking a little advantage there on the backhand side. Play started by the senior Chris Miller. A good pass on his near boards. Spring McKinnon. Face off to hockey's left. Still loose. Outside that right circle. Ends up behind the Providence boards. And ARNA will get there using the near wall to find Thompson. Thompson's pass into the Wildcats zone, broken up by McAdams. So good to see him back after he was shaken up earlier. ARNA from the right wing boards is shot. Paddle save Robinson. Rebound behind the net. Prince is there. Carries it to the near right wall. Bob Miller able to tie him up. McKinnon can't control. O'Brien tried to feed it into the circle for Thompson. Ends up at the point instead. Dayarne to Callahan. And he fluttered one on net that Robinson easily gloved. And now some shoving inside the crease. 621 left in the second. No score. UNH from Providence. This is Wildcat Hockey from Learfield. Off the faceoff, Young tries a shot, and I think it end up in Patrick Grasso's gear. The puck just disappeared from everyone's sight. Yeah, nobody knows where it is. 
We'll see the it's replay. Still, you know, some people are saying, hey, Grasso has it. It's somewhere in his jersey. He'll find it when he goes to the locker room. <laughs> I just hope it doesn't fall out in an inopportune time in front of his own net. All right. <laughs> yeah. 6.15 left in the second period. Another face off to Robinson's right. This time a glove comes loose. The extra puck still is a mystery. Barrier near side tried to get it beyond Duhame and we'll get a whistle. John Gravelisi blew the whistle on the far side and what's this call? Yeah, he's got Scott Conway for Providence for roughing. You had a feeling, <laughs> didn't you? I did. I, just, I've seen too many games that Gravel is refereed. Yeah. You kind of got the sense they were waiting for Providence to do something, to put a fryer in the box. And because uh, uh, Conway and uh, Anthony Wise got all tangled up off the face off. And uh, Conway was the one that lost his glove. I don't know how he got roughing. Maybe he threw a little half punch or something. But Conway, the senior out of Bassing Stoke, England. Makes it a unit till power play. Max Gildon moves to the center point. A wrist shot, but O'Neill slides to block it. Gildon gets it back on the right half boards. Out to the point, Grasso. Grasso turns, fires, save hockey. With the Nazarian hovering, begging for a rebound. That never materialized. Yeah, and you got some uh, big boys down there in defense. Vincent Desjardins at 6'6". Michael Callahan at 6'2", defending their crease area. And, and you got a little diminutive Aaron Nazarian down there. He can get his stick down to the ice a lot quicker to bang home one of those rebounds. Don't sell short the small guys banging around the crease against those big leg, big stick guys. We're 15 seconds into the Unitil power play. Unitil energy for life. This face off, Providence able to control. And then it's sent down to the near corner on the clear by Prince. 540 left, second period, still no score. Yaldan to Nazarian, he'll play it to Grasso, right wing board. Nazarian backhands off the end wall, rebound to Crookshank, left wing board. Brookshank looking to the point, Grasso straight away. Grasso backs it up to the right point and then plays it behind the net, Nazarian. Nazarian being pinned up by Mirages. Still don't see the puck as it's behind the net. Now it comes out to the left wing wall, but no Wildcat there. Kavanaugh is. Blackburn, though, joins the play, took it away, and then backhands to the near corner. Grasso Nazarian joust for it. Nazarian has it left circle, turns on his forehand, holds, shoots, scores! Nazarian, pinpoint precision, and the Wildcats score in the power play to take a 1-0 lead. And, and here's the, do I pass it back to the point? No, I've got it in the central crease. I've just got to work it another half second on the stick handle, and I can pick the upper 90s, and that he does. Our Nazarian, wow, what a great move, a great hounding play by the Wildcat power play, and they have. The man advantage goal, and the Wildcats have a 1-0 lead. Sixth goal of the year for Nazarian, and Enviro Vantage to the rescue with the long-standing tradition of the fish abatement after that first goal scored by your Wildcats, serving the Northeast for over 35 years. Enviro Vantage, the trusted, award-winning New Hampshire-based environmental specialty and demolition contractor, proud to be an official partner of Wildcat Sports. Visit EnviroVantage.com to learn more. Well, how about that? First power play and the Wildcats cash in and they have a one nothing lead. 4.35 left in the second. Young tries to answer back to the right point. A blistering shot that Robinson's able to deny and he'll draw a face off. Boy, I just love the composure of Aaron Azarian. Now he had it kind of on his backhand side and had to, uh, had to twist his body around a little bit and he just waited for that opening to come to him, and he flicked it upper 90s. Oh boy, that was just such a pretty goal. Too bad he couldn't have done it down here at our end, Mike. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to be that picky. Cats lead one nothing. Only you and the person who had to hold the fish into the second period were upset how long it took. Is it? It was worth the wait. Face off to Robinson's left. Duhame had it. Van Riemsdyk took it away. Two on two as he and McAdams move up ice. Left corner. Van Riemsdyk. Takes a hit from Mirages. The Van Reems like back onto it. Goal line extended left. The backhand up to Barrier at the point. Chips it forward for Van Reems like Now McAdams at the half wall. Try to sharp angle shot. Hit a skate bottom of the left circle. Chopped at by McAdams to keep it in play. Barrier softly feathered one towards the net. Easily steered aside by Hockey. McAdams wheeling and dealing along the left wing boards as we go under four minutes to play in the second. At center ice, Barrier beats O'Brien. 
And it's Gildon, near side defensive circle, beginning the breakout. Crookshank with speed through center, into the zone right wing side, backhand bid, tried to go short side, hockey was ready, and makes the save. That's all right. Uh, earlier in the period, the Wildcats' second and third shots came from the same angle on the backhand by Will McKinnon, this time Angus Crookshank. He's uh, got a little streak of his own going here. Uh, it's a little backhander off on hockey. He made the save with no rebound. Good look at Nazarian. Pretty cool customer as he really has matured as a leader of this team and playing at a different speed during that power play there to beat hockey. Face off. Crookshank wins it, turns, fires, shot, save. The rebound was loose. Vela was almost there. But hockey just they get the glove down and will get another face off with 343 remaining in the second. Nice bid, tough one there for Hockey to handle. Marcus Vela knows head to the net on the shot. And there was a little bit of a rebound. We'll do it again. Right attack circle face off. Vela and Prince will be the counter for Providence. What? Hey, he dropped it before Vela had his stick down. All right, so we'll do it again. Nobody moved except the puck. Fix the clock. Well, like uh, Angus Crookshank with the last shot. You know, he's the reigning hockey's rookie of the week. Had himself an excellent weekend last weekend against Miami. And Friars get to the loose puck off the face off, and they'll move up ice. Right side, Thompson chips it by Sato. Got O'Neill with him in the corner, Thompson. Vela with a hit. Thompson goes down. Wildcats possess. Crookshank left side in the neutral zone. Looking for Sacco, but it's broken up. Bella will use the right wing board to play it in. Bryson will gather it behind the net. Gives to Young. All backhand feed to Prince. Prince turned it over. Sacco keeps in for an instant before it's just knocked down the ice to Gildon, far side. Diagonal feed perfectly placed in his area in left wing. Tries to cross it as he was bidding for Grasso, but it was broken up nicely by Dugan. Dugan the other way. Nazarian slowed him down just enough for Dugan to skate in offside, and then Nazarian. Got some extra words for Dugan on the near side glass, and a bunch of guys now get acquainted with each other. Aaron says, rookie. Yeah, rookie, get out of here. <laughs> Fans of the New Hampshire Highway Safety Agency and the Wildcats remind you, buzz driving is impaired driving. The buzz driver can be impaired by drugs or just a few drinks. You don't have to be falling down to be impaired. So use common sense and use a designated driver. Please don't drive impaired. Well, out of that little scrape, we're going to have a couple of players go to the penalty box. Jimmy, not Jimmy, uh, Jack Dugan for uh, Providence is going to go with Max Gildon. Uh, you got one of the leading scorers for Providence in the box, and you got one of the best defensemen for the Wildcats in the box. So kind of an even trade, but Wildcats don't want to have to say goodbye to a defenseman for a couple of minutes here. It uh, really looks like uh, Mike Sousa and Jeff Giuliano, who's really work on the defense uh, in, the, in the coaching staff. They're only going with a five-man rotation. Drew Hickey, I ha haven't seen him for quite a while. That's a four-on-four -four hockey puck loose at center. York was battling. He lost his balance, got back to it. Nazarian stands up O'Brien at the Wildcat line. All kinds of play right in front of the Friar bench. Nazarian, Varrier. For the Wildcats, Dayarnay for the Friars. Now Nazarian digs it out and gains the line left wing. Can't get around the check of Callahan, so the Friars the other way. O'Brien right side. O'Brien angles left, finds Dayarnay into the zone. He crashes the net, and his chance to move to his forehand, he lost the puck. Varrier rides him into the boards. Behind the net, McKinnon for the Wildcats. Things getting very physical between Dayarnay and Varrier. Varrier, the Wildcat freshman blue liner, skates up by his left side. And then he'll just send it the rest of the way as he clears the red and then heads to the bench. A minute left on the four on four. A minute 50 now and counting in the second period. One nothing Wildcats and the Zarians unassisted so far. Power play goal at 14.56. The difference. Wise maneuvers to the Providence end left wing boards. Back to Sato at the point. Sato throws one through traffic. Goes wide stick side. Hits off the end boards. Ends up behind the net. Bella left wing to Sato at the point. Sato holds, moves closer, throws one in. Akia save. Rebound wise, right wing half wall. Bella behind the net, looking to wrap around the left wing. 
He'll work it to Sato. Had a difficult time at first. He'll just play it in deep. Crookshank looking for the wraparound, but he got met by Thompson at the goal line extended right. Young will pivot away from a Belichick. And this allows the Friars to move up ice. Thompson across the red line will simply feather it in. A minute left, second period. Sato being trailed by Duhame, who lost his glove. Barrier, near side, the four on four is over, so both teams are back to full strength, five on five hockey. Cats in their own zone on the near boards. It's pulled off by Benz, gives it to Duhame, and he fired one off the crossbar. Here's a shot from the left point that got redirected. It was sent in from the left side by Mirages. The redirect went wide glove side to the near corner. Now the Cats able to work it to center ice. Miller swats at it, finds Grasso. Grasso in. In the corner, though, taken right back by Dugan. 25 seconds to go in the second. Backhanded behind the Wildcat net by Prince. Wise slides in just in front of a four checker. Allows Grasso to get to center ice. Van Riemsdyk chips it forward, right wing corner, under 10 seconds to go. In the period, Friars control, but way deep in their own end. Suka Miranda Prince, the chance of UNH begins here at the Whittemore Center because through two periods, it's the Wildcats leading the Friars one to nothing, courtesy of an Aaron Azarian power play goal, his team leading sixth goal of the season. You're listening to Wildcat Hockey from Learfield.
And as we get ready to start the third period, we want to say thanks to State Farm Insurance agents Renee LeClaire and Tony LeClaire for their continued support. Here to help life go right, State Farm is there. one nothing Wildcats after two for the third period. Cats will be skating left to right. Trying to close it out against the 10th ranked Friars and make it a three point weekend, but that's 20 long minutes of now. Off the face off, Bryson throws a bouncing puck just behind the Wildcat net. Yorkwist and right wing boards can't keep in. It's banked off glass by Crookshank out to center. Crookshank delivers a hit on Suka Moran. Yorkwist is over there by the Wildcat bench as well. Barrier jabs at it. Vela will calmly pass it back to Barrier. Tries to snap a pass through traffic. Sacco can't control. So back comes Bryson. Far side, Young. Young ahead to Dugan. And one extra shot, Suka Moran. They look to pass to the left side. Duhane gives Chase on the four check. Wise cuts him off. Allowing New Hampshire to come out with the puck far wing. Sacco through center. He's at the end of the shift. He'll dump and then the Cats go for a change. Headman feed near side. And O'Brien couldn't get a piece of it, so it goes down the ice for an icing call. 43 seconds into the third. All right, it'll be interesting to see how things transpire. We've only played under a minute here. So much on the line. Wildcats want to protect home. Their home barn in Providence desperately would like to take three out of the four points this weekend themselves. It's all going to come down to the last 1907. Right, face off right circle Nazarian has the game's only goal. A power play tally at 1456 of the second assist to Crookshank and Blackburn. The reason why the Wildcats are in front. Callahan left wing for Providence. Tries a one-timer, but Blackburn blocked it. And on the deflection, Grasso. Blackburn crosses it. Left side, McKinnon. Quick snapper as he came across. Save hockey, rebound far corner. Callaway up the wall, unable to clear. As McKinnon keeps, keeps in, he glances off. Gravelisi in the far boards. Nazarian chops at it, keeps it alive in the circle. Nazarian back at it, wrist shot. Hit the skate of Dayarnay. And Dayarnay will loft it out of the zone. Sato on the blue line to the near side wide. Wise controls between the circles. Skates away from Thompson who lost his edge. Lead pass finds Miller on side. Miller to McAdams moving in. Miller joins the play backhand. Save hockey. Miller's on top of hockey. The puck ends up in the left side. Whirling was McAdams. This forehand bid got blocked by Thompson. Puck bouncing around the goal line to the right of hockey. With McAdams over there. Miller. Trying to dig out as well. Dayarnay for Providence. One of the Wildcats goes down, then Dayarnay goes down right after McAdams. The puck is lifted just across the line. Van Riemsdyk just got dumped onto the Providence bench. As the puck goes to the right of Robinson in the Wildcats zone. Miller gets to it, he'll backhand it across the rink, and here's Van Riemsdyk back into the play, but he'll be whistled for an offside call just two. 23 into the third period. Well, that's a play that's indicative of what uh, is, you know, what this team is really turning into. Brendan Van Reems, like did not shy away from making the play along the boards. He knew he was going to get hit, and he went for the puck to try to move it up the ice, and uh, he kept his head down and, and uh, ended up going head over heels into the bench. Got no help to get back on the ice, but he didn't need to. His big frame helped him get up over the boards. And he got back into the play. That's when the faceoff for Gona. Fans on his forehand bid. Second attempt goes just wide, stick side. Rebound off the end boards. His glove by Hockey for a faceoff. 17 29 left third period. 1 0 New Hampshire. And Wildcats four has just continued to hound Providence. PC has not found a whole lot of space and time to make plays out there. They, they haven't handled the puck particularly well tonight or last night either. It's just all because of that speed and tenacity UNH is showing. Win a faceoff and Barrier with a shot from the left wing boards, but right there is Hockey will do the faceoff again. Next Saturday night, it's UNH against Dartmouth. First time the teams have played twice in the year since 83-84. Pete and I will be at Thompson Arena on Friday night, but Saturday here at the Wit. Get your tickets at UNHWildcats.com. And we have a special announcement about Dr. Steve Hardy, his brand new hockey book. He'll be signing it during the first period, starting at 6.30, all the way through the end of the first period. I know, Pete, you've had your eyes on that book, and fans can uh, purchase one and get it signed by Steve Hardy, New Hampshire's own, next Saturday night. 
Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that book. I've read some excerpts. Uh, if you're a hockey buff and love history, that's going to be the book for you, I guess. Tickets available at UNHWildcats.com. Vela on the right half wall. Chips it in deeper for Crookshank. Crookshank behind the net against Dugan. He goes down, but the puck ends up on the stick of McKinnon. Gives it to Wise near side. Wise gets bumped to the ice by Bjorkquist. Sacco is on it. Snaps it down low. Crookshank. Goal line extended right. Curls. Looks at the half boards and then just keeps it in deep. Sacco. Pin up a fryer, but... This allows Duhame to join, and Duhame's got a lot of space. Skates through center into the Wildcat end. He's one on four, and Wise takes him off while McKinnon seizes the puck. Duhame, though, not giving up on the play. Four checks, forcing McKinnon to give it to Wise. On the near side, it's Justin Fragona. Ship it to center. They are an A, far side of the Providence D zone. Gives to Conway. Conway gets met by Fragona, thrown into the glass. We'll get a whistle on an offside, I believe, with 16.04 to play in this final period of regulation. Yeah, Justin Fragona, he had to be careful there. Uh, the uh, Providence defenseman was at kind of a strange angle. I think uh, Justin took the brunt of it. He's still checking his helmet there to make sure nothing's broken on it. He slammed into the boards himself. That's, uh, Cats have to be a little leery that Providence is going to throw things forward. They need to get an equalizer to get back in the game. And, might be opportunities for the Wildcats if they uh, play their cards right. Faceoff is right at center ice. The puck ends up in the Providence zone. Behind the net, out to the far board. He's there, DeGrasso trying to backhand it, and he does to Blackburn, who winds and drives one from the top of the left circle, and Hockey makes the save after being serenaded by the Wildcats right. student section. Yeah, the Wildcats starting to pile up some shots here in the third period. Got like uh, four or five of them already. Just keep piling them in on them. That's what the Wildcats have to do. Left circle faceoff. Sheffaloo will take against McDermott. Cats win it. A shot from the top of the left circle for Gona that goes through congestion and on net. But Hockey in there to make another stop. We'll do the faceoff again. Is that going to be uh, shot number six, maybe? for the Wildcats. Providence had a huge advantage there. What was it, 16 to one at one point, I gave you that stat. The Wildcats firing things, getting some space of their own offensively. I'll have to get another one here. Let's try the face off, stick side of hockey again. Friars win this one, Bunt using the far boards, unable to clear as Blackburn keeps it in, plays it deeper for Nazarian on the far left boards. Dug out by Suka Moran. He centers for Bjorkwist. Bjorkwist skates through center. Throws it off the left boards and behind the goal line to the right wing side. Bouncing around under the goal line to the left of Robinson. Grasso ahead for Nazarian and he'll chip it to center ice. Mirages at the Providence blue line left. Skates in front of his own bench and then dumps it deep. McKinnon will skate the other way. Rink wide the pass to Wise. Right back to McKinnon at his own blue line. Banked off the far boards, Van Riemsdyk chips it forward for Blackburn. Blackburn behind the goal line, left. Wrapped up by Bryson, trying to keep the puck alive. Grasso as well, but it's Duhame on the far right boards, getting Providence sprung the other way. Conway throws it in the right corner. Barrier there for the Wildcats first. The Friars get it back. Duhame, half wall right, trying to go around. Gildon, puck is redirected behind the net. Barrier lost a stick, a Friar went diving over him. No call. Well. Said no call, but then we get a whistle, and this will be a tripping call. So it was delayed. The barrier he kind of threw his arms in the air as if to say, I didn't do anything, I don't have my stick, but he is called here at 525, or excuse me, 425. And I had it right the first time. 525, the time of the penalty, and the Wildcats go shorthanded with a 1 0 lead. Yeah, so we got uh, now it's uh, you know, teeth clenching time here for the Wildcats. They need a strong penalty kill. We'll see who they bring out uh, for the four. It's going to be McKinnon and Wise. Miller and Sacco. Sacco's done himself very well finding a niche here as a penalty killer for the Wildcats. Looks like we're going to get the second power play line for Providence out there. Conway wins the face off to O'Brien, left wing boards. O'Brien starts to angle towards the net. He shoots a high riser, bouncing around. Bjork was going to stick way up there, but Robinson alertly able to snare it. We'll do the face off with. Eight seconds elapsed off the penalty against Barrier. And Pro 
Providence sticking Bjorkwist right down in the crease area. Stick was getting perilously high. <laughs> yeah. Just chopping down at it. It's interesting they got Bjorkwist, Conway, and Jay O'Brien on this unit together. Base off one. Here's Bryson from the mid slot. Doesn't shoot, instead gives it left side. O'Brien's forehander is blocked. Redirected, comes through the paint. Shot from the backside. It was blocked down. That's getting free was Jack Dugan. Now it's out at center ice. Van Riemsdyk goes around Dugan. Here comes Brendan Van Riemsdyk, left side. On the rush, shot, save. Big save, hockey. It's Conway the other way. Conway gives to Bjorkwish. Right wing side, driving in. He's taken down. And the Wildcats are in a heap of trouble now. This will be a five on three Providence power play for the next minute 22. Minimum, I suppose. It's one nothing Wildcats, but that lead doesn't feel so secure right now. Now, it's tough for the Wildcats. You know, they went for it uh, with Brendan Van Riemsdyk down the left wing side. He wasn't disrupted I, too much. I, I He wanted a penalty call, but there really wasn't enough there. But uh, the Wildcat defenseman got pinched up too much inside the uh, center zone, and that left a lot of space for an angle to be had by Providence. That's why Max Gildon had to take down the Friar player. Wildcats are going to call a timeout here to talk about this situation. Minute 22, down two men. But leading at 1 0 with 13.56 left in the third. Back to the Wintermore Center in a moment. This is Wildcat Hockey from Learfield. Planning a party, trust your event to Team Intense. Let Christian Party Rentals train professional Intense team. Be your team. Learn more at Intense, that's I-N-T-E-N-T-S, dot com. All right, big moment, big, uh, big span of time here for the Wildcats. The next two minutes, they've got to kill off a couple of penalties. Leading 1-0, 13.56 remaining third period. Face off to the right of Robinson. Friars win the draw, but it comes out actually in front of the net to McKinnon, and he had some room to simply clear it all the way down. So Gildon's in the box right alongside Barrier, tripping on Barrier at 525, cross-checking Gildon at 604. O'Brien handles left wing. Moves it to the high slot. Bryson holds there. Bryson now tries a one-timer, a slap shot from that slot, got redirected onto the left. Back to O'Brien. Bryson moves closer. O'Brien inside of the circle. His shot aiming for the far post. Missed on a forehand. Dugan the rebound. Right wing boards. Curls back to the middle. Cross ice. Now comes to the slot. A blast from Bryson. Knocked down in front. Control back to Bryson. Dugan right circle. Bryson straight away. Left wing O'Brien. There's a one timer from Bryson. That's blocked the right circle, so the rebound comes to the left wing, O'Brien, a reverse direction. O'Brien's pass intercepted by Blackburn, and he'll send it down. Much to the delight of the Whittemore Center faithful. Ten seconds left on the five on three, Providence advantage, then at least the Cats get one man back. Into the zone, Thompson left wing. Mirages from the left point will work it across to the right side. Moving in is a shot, save Robinson as he denies to him. He falls down, hanging out of the puck as long as the whistle, and then it fell. <laughs> oh, and he thought he might have lost it behind him, too. Just that split second of hesitation when the goalie not totally sure where the puck is. Wildcats kill off the first penalty, so they got one man back. 37 seconds left to go with the five on four. A lot of fans on their feet here, fired up inside the wit. What a game on this Saturday night. UNH wins the faceoff on Robinson's left. Vela goes behind the net and then elevates the puck expertly down the ice to the near corner. Still 25 seconds left on the Gildon penalty. Thompson skating through center, left wing, gets into the zone to Young. Young back to Thompson. He's in the corner, looking to play it in front. Van Riemsdyk, the intercept, and he clears. 
Yeah, there's no use trying to think of any kind of breakout here. Just get the puck down and get fresh legs on the ice. Five seconds remaining on the power play. One last rush, perhaps, for the Friars. Young, left side. Young into the zone. Catcher at full strength, and the Friars are offside, and the Pens are standing at the wit. This is beautiful. Oh, they are appreciating this now. That's good to see. Now the Wildcats just have to play a solid 11.53 left here, but not get back in the heels, not get back in their own zone and let the Friars come at them. Wildcats still have to search out balance of play here in this remaining just under 12 minutes. Excellent point. Now is not the time to let up after a real emotional lift, killing off a five on three penalty. Oh goodness, Kavanaugh just threw Grasso down as we await the faceoff just outside the Wildcat line. Nothing called there, just a brief skirmish. We're back. And it's Dayarnay throwing one in from just outside the blue line on the far side. Here near circle, swiped out by Blackburn. All the way down, and it will go as an icing call. Took a long time to trickle through with the fans here. Thought Providence could have played the puck, but that's to be expected here in front of your hometown fan. Yeah, I like Coach Sousa getting a little animated towards the lineman. He's going to, line, that lineman who made the call is going to skate over right in front of the Wildcat bench, and Mike might have a couple more words for him. That guy was a 50 50 one. All right, make the next play. Face off to Robinson's right. Friars win it. Comes back to Mirages. His forehander blocked by Nazarian, and it ends up going out of play with 11 31 remaining in the third. Still 1-0 UNH. Aaron Azarian's power play goal. Five minutes at 14.56 into the second period. The game's lone tally. Face off to Robinson's right. Another defensive zone draw for UNH. It's back to the point on edge and out of the zone to the Friars retreat. Callahan Quickly trying to get it back onto the stick of O'Neill, but broken up by Nazarian. He's into the Friars' own right wing. Worked it in front of the net, but Callahan, the intercept, tries to feed Bjorkquist, but that's broken up by Gildon on the near right boards. Nazarian dug for it. It does come to center ice, but there's Gildon. Good stick handler. He'll back it up. Patiently waits. No pass to speak of. Finally finds Sheffaloo. Left side. Banked it to him. Sheffaloo, a wrist shot. Paddled aside by Hockey. Over to Grasso in the right corner. Grasso being shoved aside by Conway, looking for Duhame near boards. And now Conway at center. Plays it forward, but poked out by McKinnon on the check. Duhame gathers it in, looked to come on side left wing with O'Brien. That's broken up on the Wildcats, forcing Bryson to play it in the neutral zone. Wise near side D. He'll center it for McKinnon. McKinnon fires it off Sheffaloo and now all the way out of play. 10.31 to go in the third. 1-0 Wildcats. This is Wildcat Hockey from Learfield. Control the puck in the Wildcat end. A cross ice pass from Suka Moran is intercepted in the far circle. Gildon behind his own netminder. Leaves it for Sato. Van Riemsdyk will chip it to center. McAdams plays it further along. Miller can't get there in front. So it comes out to center ice. Here come the Wildcats again. McAdams in the slot. Forehand shot block. Gets a rebound. Tries to wrap around as hockey was down, but could not get in front of the net. As he's pinned out to the far side. A couple of chances there for the Wildcats to build this lead to two. Oh, they just need that one little thing to get, get some opportunities, get some space, get some uh, sloppy play from Providence. The Cats need to make it happen. 9.35 to go in regulation. one nothing. UNH trying to knock off a ranked team here at the Wit for the second consecutive week. They beat Miami last Saturday, 4-1. Out at center ice, Crookshank. Crookshank still possesses into the zone. A rocket that goes high. Rebound Sato, but he slapped it wide. And now the net comes off its pegs as Joe Sacco came crashing on through the near post. Wow, 
There's Angus Crookshank. I tell you, the more I see him play, the more I like the way he plays, the confidence he has as a freshman, not even through his first semester. So uh, he's got the goods. Rising snapper he just let off. I don't think that missed the crossbar by much. 5'11", 180-pound freshman from North Vancouver, British Columbia. Two goals, five assists for seven points here in this freshman campaign, including the primary assist on Nazarian's power play goal that has the Wildcats leading one up. In the face off, I don't know what uh, we're gonna have here. Some kind of delay. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna take. This is the uh, mid-period scraping. All right, that's what it is. We'll let them do some manicuring on the ice, and we'll take a timeout with UNH leading Providence one to nothing. Nine seventeen to play, third period. This is Wildcat hockey from Learfield. Back inside the Whittemore Center, it's time for a live stat update brought to you by UNH Analytics and Data Science. Now well, the great stat uh, to give to you here because the 71st faceoff is about to happen in this game. UNH has a 39 to 31 advantage in the first 70 faceoffs here tonight. And that is a live stat update brought to you by UNH Analytics and Data Science. Apply now and prepare yourself for one of the world's most in-demand careers. Find out more at unh.edu slash analytics. Next Saturday night, UNH against Dartmouth right here at the Whittemore Center. Get your tickets at unhwildcats.com. It's Cats Care Night, presented by Wentworth Douglas. And bring your an unwrapped toy. Spread some extra holiday cheer. And if you do so, not only are you helping others, but Service Credit Union will give a t-shirt to anyone who donates a toy while supplies last. Again, that's next Saturday, UNH against Dartmouth here at the Whittemore Center. Tickets available at unhwildcats.com. Next game for the Wildcats is Friday night at Dartmouth. Pete and I will have the radio call starting at 6.30 with a pregame. Here it's 1-0, 9-10 left, third period. Friars going from right to left, play it behind the Wildcat net. Conway gets to it left corner, plays one in front, extra pass, frees up a shot and a score from Dayarnay. A four-hander from the slot. Friars tie it, 1-1, 9-0-1 left in the third. Uh, I honestly thought that opportunity was not going to come, but uh, going back towards the boards to get the puck over the corner, Anthony Wise lost an edge, or maybe at this point doesn't have an edge on his skate, fell to the ice, that gave a little bit of time, and Desjardins beat Mike Robinson to the glove side from right in the middle slot. Looked like it might have rang off the inside of the post. Tough break for the Wildcats. All right, now they got to go get it again, get that one goal lead back. The extra pass came from Brandon Duham. So he'll get his fourth assist. The man doesn't score often. Vincent Dayarnay, the senior from Laval, Quebec, his first goal of the season, fourth of his career in his 104th game. So that takes a little bit of the starch out of folks, but it's 1 1, just like we were last night in the third period. Dugan tries to cross the, at the blue line, but it comes out of the zone to Young. Young will just go rink wide on a dump in. Gildon will track it down, bottom of the near circle. Don skates in the far side. Backhands won a little bit too far for Crookshank, so he'll give chase into the left corner. Bryson's there first, but Sacco pinches in to keep it deep in the Friar end. Near side Young. Fellow the takeaway deep. He's got no one with him, though. So the numbers game allows Young to get back to it. Young right side. Threads it along the far wall all the way down the ice. Don gets there for the Wildcats. On diagonal breakout pass finds McAdams left side. McAdams along the wall. He gets taken down and crashes into the boards. Buns was the one who had the check with no call the other way. O'Neill. O'Neill veers left, trying to go around wise as he gains the line, ends up behind the net. This allows Sato to skate out with it. Sato skates in front of his own bench. Throws the puck into the air and deep in the flyer zone. Sato from the half wall left finds Miller in the corner. Back out to Sato at the point, but it hopped over his stick. 
forcing them back to the neutral zone. And Reemsdyke in front of the penalty box will play it in behind the net. And Mirages wraps it around to McGurbit skating left wing boards into the Wildcat end for Gona and Gildan. Team up trying to take it away, but battling his tape at the end wall. McDermott gets back to it at the right hash mark. We're going to check to take him off the play. And then it's sent over the boards by McAdam. 7.07 remaining in this third period, a 1-1 game. Yeah, good uh, little shift there by Koe Sato playing defense with all the injuries. The Wildcats have been going with that five-man rotation. Haven't seen Drew Hickey in uh, quite a while. But Koi uh, Sato, boy, I think he's might have found a home on the defensive side. He's been darn good tonight. Callahan from the left wing, feathers one into the corner. Blackburn jousting, so is Gildon. You know, as you're talking about names we haven't seen much, I haven't heard Eric, Eric Esposito's name in a long time. Yeah. He was supposed to be with Miller and Van Riemsdyk on that third line. Every night we see the, the late lines get changed up, players disappear because of ailments. Boyd last night, unfortunately, but hope to have him back maybe next weekend. But Coach Souza wasn't sure. He'll be reevaluated. Boyd will on Monday. 6.35 left in the third. It's 1 1. Puck is played behind the net. Robinson is passed for Wise. Goes Aaron Bjorkvist instead fires in the left wing boards, but it's blocked before it can get to Robinson. Taken away by Dugan, right wing. Dugan plays one in front. Crashing into the paint was Conway, but he couldn't get his stick on the puck as Robinson is able to veer to his right and glove it down. Dan Barrier has lost his stick on the play and just had to get body position. Get himself between the goal and the man with the puck. Lucky Mike Robinson up to the task is of clearing it up. Yeah, it's hard, hard for us to see who's on the bench over there because uh, it's on the other side and the numbers are away from us. It looks like the Cats have a full bench. Win the face off. Wise plays it off the back wall. Over to Varrier in the corner, and he'll get it to center ice. The 6 10 to play. Crookshank from the red line throws one on net from the left side, forcing Hockey to make the initial stop, and then Vela's rushing follow up forced Hockey to hang on for a face off. Well, we said this in the pregame show in our conversation with Coach Sousa the more Wildcats have disappeared because of these injuries, the better they play. I mean, <laughs> This is a team that doesn't, the narrative should be, oh, woe is us, we can't compete because it's, of the injuries. Yeah, it's not, not under Mike Souza is it gonna be like that. No excuses. It's gonna be, what can I do? What 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 can I do to make it happen, even though we're, we're shorthanded? Yeah, Kohei Sato, case in point, playing defenseman tonight because of the shorthand, but he's been part of so much of what's happening here, including this shift. Bella in the corner, Wildcat fans want a call, they're gonna get one. Delay call coming up against the Friars. Robinson heads to the bench for an extra attacker. It's Miller, he's on the ice. Gildon, right wing, he handles. Moves down low. Gildon plays it in front. It comes out to the point, Sato. Sato, left wing pass, Sacco. Joe Sacco to Sato, one-timer. It gets knocked down, it's loose. Miller was there in the back door, but it went behind the net before he could pull the trigger. It's pinned against the end boards, and we get the whistle. That will start the Unitil power play with 5.30 left. <laughs> oh, boy. That's tough. That is just tough. It was sitting right there, right on the doorstep. Koe Zata with a big blast from the right point. Miller down low, you know, just had it tipped away, I think, by Hockey as the arm of the referee was up in the air. Yep, Hockey stick, got a piece of it, kept Miller from getting good wood on it, putting it into the net. Aiden Hockey, 6'2", 187 pound senior from Parker, Colorado, six round pick of the Edmonton Oilers, 2014. Face off will be to his right. It is a Unitil power play, Unitil energy for life at 14.30 of the third in a 1-1 game. Who will step up for the Wildcats? Face off out to the left boards. Blackburn is on it at the half wall. Feathers it down low in the corner. Crookshank back to Blackburn at the hash marks. At the point, Gildon had a kick it to settle it. Gives to Grasso near side. Grasso banks one off the end boards to Nazarian, goal line extended. Grasso on the near wing. Straight away, Gildon faked the slapper and said Blackburn, wrist shot. That's wide. Grasso couldn't cut over to keep it in the zone. Rebound brings it to center. Off to Karam, Gildon. Lead pass to Blackburn. He gets tripped up by Dayarnay just across the Friar line. Blackburn back to it, shovels it to Gildon. He'll just direct it into the left corner, behind the net. 
Crookshank just plays up the wall, and again, Grasso wasn't there. So it's at center ice where Kavanaugh was able to keep chase and force Gildon back to his own near circle. Headman feed Nazarian, left wing. Nazarian takes a check from DRNA, but still battles to keep the puck alive. In fact, it ends up just to the right side of Hockey, who will hang on for a whistle with exactly one minute gone in this Unitil power play and 4.29 left in the third, 1-1 one, one score. Ah, the tension is mounting here at the Whittemore Center. We're all square at one, just like we were last night going down to the wire. Still a good chunk of the power play here for the Wildcats. They had good possession around the perimeter. Bella, O'Neill face off to hockey's right. Cats win the draw, wise left point. Heads to the center point. Left circle, Sheffaloo. Wise back to Sheffaloo, left wing. Sheffaloo down low, Vela. Sheffaloo at the half wall left. Moves towards the circle, his shot wrist hits the shoulder of Mirages and sails into the netting. Yeah, that's gonna keep it in the zone. Wildcats exploring angles over there on the left side. Anthony Wise out there, gonna get a little change in the defense. Gildon's gonna come back out. Wildcats got the big boys out there. Frank Sheffalo has seized on such a nice job of controlling the puck and handling it here on the power play, mostly over there on the left wall. This time it's Conway and Vela on the faceoff. Conway in too soon. He's been told to settle down. Hasn't been chased yet, now the puck is down. Trickles behind the goal line. Friars will get there first. Look to clear on the near side, but Gildon holds it in. Crosses to Sheffaloo right through his wickets into center ice. 30 seconds left on the Unitil power play under four minutes to go in regulation. Gildon from the right side, Vela. Vela gains the zone. He'll wind it around behind the net to the left wing boards. It's wise by himself at the left point. Pass to Gildon near point. Diagonal to Sheffaloo in the circle. Shot redirected by Vela wide. Van Riemsdyk gathers it in. Right goal line extended. Up to Gildon, he shoots just wide, far post. Sheffaloo has it, left hash mark. Gildon at the point. Gildon banks one intentionally wide, rebound near the far post. Vela trying to stuff it home, but Hockey was wise to the plan and got his glove in there. And just one second remaining in the power play for the Wildcats. Looks like the Friars are gonna kill this off. All right. Wildcats, big guns, head over to the bench. Keep your heads up, boys, though. We still got a lot of time left, three and a half. You're gonna get more opportunities. Just gotta make sure that you keep Providence's opportunities to a bare minimum. Spencer Young is standing, ready for that door to open on the penalty box after this faceoff. He was called for hooking at 14.30. Cats win the faceoff. Left side, Nazaria. Out to the point, McKinnon. He fires one wide, rebound to Zarian, left circle turns, fires, and hit Callahan. Kept in by McKinnon, plays it deep on the right side. DRNA backhands along the near wall, Blackburn has it, curls to the middle. Finds Nazarian left circle, Callahan breaks it up and then lost his stick. So just using his body to do some damage against Nazarian. Forces the puck behind the net, that's where Young gets to it. He'll backhand for Bjorkwist coming out of the zone left wing. He'll chip in and chase. Barrier gets there first for Wildcats at his own goal line extended near side. On the far end, it's Nazarian. Nazarian, a three on two. Here's Grasso coming in shot, hits the right arm of hockey and sails out of play. Uh, Grasso had the leverage, had his corner picked clean, but you got one of the best goaltenders in college hockey in Hayden Hockey. Edmonton Oilers draft pick, he was up to the task on that snipe attempt by Patrick Grasso. He's looking for his second goal of the year, had one last week and a big one against Miami. 251 remaining, third period. Wildcats won, Friars won. Nazarian scored the Wildcat goal. D'Arnais is first of the year for the Friars, a tie. Gildon off the faceoff shot, gets blocked in front, redirects to the near right board. McAdams and Van Riemsdyk for the Wildcats near side. O'Brien and O'Neill for the Friars. Backhanded by Gildon in front, but Mirages has the intercept. Duhame, nice lead pass, finds O'Brien. On the rush, shot and a score. O'Brien got ahead of everyone. He broke in alone and goes top shelf to beat Robinson. Providence leads 2-1 with 2.32 left. Oh, it's just gonna, gonna be too frustrating for the Wildcats. They battled so hard here, still two and a half to go, but that's a good uh, goal again by the glove side of 
Mike Robinson, but he didn't have any chance with J.L. Bryan barreling down in on him. Bryan goes top shelf in the same corner guard as Arian went. But uh, kind of an ill advised, you know, centering pass with nobody in the Providence crease except the defenseman. And he started the breakout very quickly. O'Brien saw that, streaked behind the Wildcat defense and made the great finish. First career point for O'Brien, the freshman from Hingham, Mass., first round draft pick of the Philadelphia Flyers, number 19 overall in last year's draft. So now the Wildcats down one, still time, 2.15 left. Gildon will flip it to center ice. He finds Crookshank. Now Vela. Oh, the Wildcats are offside. So close. Sacco was there as well. In fact, Sacco exchanging pleasantries with a couple of Friars in the far end, including Spencer Young, the young man from just down the road in Brentwood, New Hampshire. Well, they kind of didn't take kindly to Sacco shooting the puck at their goalie after the whistle, but. It wasn't a hard shot. It was along the ice. No big deal. We'll get a timeout with 2.13 left. Providence 2, UNH 1. Back after this. This is Wildcat Hockey from Learfield. Still 2.13 to play. Wildcats call the timeout, trailing 2-1. to one. And when we break the huddle, we expect to see Mike Robinson still in net, but for how much longer before Mike Souza would have to pull his net binder in favor of an extra attacker? Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be determined by where the puck is uh, going to be played after this faceoff. And if it comes back to the Wildcat end, obviously he's not going anywhere. He's going to stand in the middle crease. Uh, he's going to back up to his goal crease area. Back out again. He's anticipating he's going to come real quickly. Wildcat Pep, Pep Band playing the ESPN theme. Next Saturday night's game will be on ESPN Plus. 7 o'clock faceoff. That's where Pete and I will be. Here on the radio, it'll be Nate Bridges and Rob Daly with all the action. This faceoff just outside the Friar zone off the timeout. Blackburn and Conway will duel. Friars win it back to their own end. It's Young Looking for Conway at center ice. Conway to Duhame. Duhame with a wonderful spring out pass that set up O'Brien for the breakaway goal. Making 2 1 at the 17 28 mark. Blackburn far corner of the Wildcat zone. Behind the net, Gildon. 150 left. So there's some late magic. Grasso couldn't handle the pass cleanly, so Tate will drive it right back in. Gildon, long head man, feet in a beauty, gets the Zarian, he winds, he drives one. Hockey, a stick save, hits off the glass, goes high in the air to the near side. Grasso came in, Robinson has left the crease, he's headed to the bench, and there's an empty Wildcat net. Gildon has just taken down Prince for a penalty with 128 left, and Gildon simply had no other choice, otherwise Prince would have had an empty net staring him in the face. Yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna put Gildon in the box and bring Mike Robinson out. The Cats will be down him in. Minute and 28 left to play. Prince would have uh, beaten him to the puck and put it home for the clincher. Well, it's a frustrating third period here. Providence scores a couple of goals within uh, six and a half minutes. Just after the midway point of this third period, and uh, they've uh, turned a one goal deficit into a one goal lead. And All right, face off to Robinson's right here with a minute 28 left. Cats on the shorthand. For the rest of this regulation. Off the face off wise, will track it down far side, banks off the boards. Bryce is to it just inside the Providence zone. Over to Conway. Conway gives right side Bjorkwist. Return pass actually goes all the way through for a save. Rebound, Young redirected a goal. It was triggered by Young at the top of the left circle. Ends up going in and giving the Friars a 3-1 lead with 1.14 remaining in the third. 
Well, if, uh, this uh, ends up being the final score. It's just not going to be indicative of, of this game. As uh, for a good chunk of it, it was a one nothing lead Wildcats. I don't know how this one got through. Yeah, it was not deflected at all. It was just straight upper 90s. That same corner, our Nazarian scored, and then uh, Desjardins scored. Goals in that same corner. Now the New Hampshire kid scores. Spencer Young, give it to him with the screen out there, three to one. Miller skates the other way offside with 104 remaining. I do want to remind people, next Saturday night is a special bonus. Dr. Steve Hardy, longtime professor here at UNH, author of a new book called Hockey, A Global History. He'll be selling the book in the lobby and also signing the book for folks but from 6.30 next Saturday until the end of the first period. As the Wildcats battle Dartmouth at the Whittemore Center, get your tickets at unhwildcats.com. Mike Robinson has headed to the bench again with 50 seconds left. Extra attacker for the Cats. Wise throws one in front. Blocked by Callahan, he heads towards the far boards, backhands to the point, kept in by the Cats, now backhanded out by the Friars. 40 seconds left, and UNH needs two goals. Still done. Pivots sends a lead feed for Nazarian left side. He got tied up by Dayarnay. Near side, it's Prince, pinned up by Vela. Friars content to just milk the clock here. McAdams gives chase in the near corner. Nazarian to it, backhands one in front, actually hit the side of the net as Vela was hoping for it. Wise keeps in left side, tried to throw it towards the net, hit a Providence skate. Scooped up by Thompson, he'll wisely just skate away from everyone. Under 10 seconds to play, Thompson skates to center, gives to O'Neal, O'Neal aims for the open net and just missed it left. Wise will collect the rebound, skate to the near side, and it is all over. The Friars come from behind and beat the Wildcats tonight at the Whittemore Center by a final score of three to one, scoring thrice in the third period. Goals by Dayarnay, his first, O'Brien, his first, and then most recently, Spencer Young, his fifth at 18.46. We'll come back with the post-game show in a moment. This is Rumblier Field.